Hey everyone, this is Sergeant Danger Cow from the British Sergeant's Mess, and this is episode 5 of Chewing the Cud. This week, my top 10 most annoying things in Battlefield 4. Now, oh, right. This is going to turn into a ragey rant, and I'm sorry. I am so sorry, but it will do. Okay, now this is my top 10 bugbears. <laughs> Muzzle attachments. Just give us more that don't actually take with one hand, and give with the other. Right, muzzle break. Uh, reduces muzzle climb by 25%, but uh, adds a 30% penalty to the accuracy of automatic fire. No use on any automatic guns at all. Same with the compensator, except for side by side. Flash hider is about the only useful thing when you've got, um, when you've got a fully automatic weapon. The heavy barrel is manageable but it's still a pain in the ass. Suppressors are alright, but again the bullet drop is quite significant, although I don't really mind that, I actually prefer running with a suppressor anyway. But oh just give us more. Give us something else. Give us something that doesn't kill us all by reducing the penalty. You know, what's the point of having something that gives you a five percent net loss on your actual usefulness of the weapon? What's the point in that? Come on. Be a little bit more generous. Stop right there. That's my on a little Alan Partridge there. Sorry about that. Smell my cheese. Um, right, number number nine is getting stuck on things, like little random pebbles and stuff, which, to be honest, your character should be able to step over without you having to think about it. They should just automatically step up it. This sort of stuff has to be ironed out. It's been a problem since BF3. It's actually been a problem since Bad Company 2 that I remember. Um, it needs to be ironed out. The, the, the small pebble things, you just you should be able to just step over them. There's no point in having those at all uh, holding a player up. And you get killed so many times as well. My God, so many times do I get killed when I'm trying to strafe left or right and then the small, small little pebble. No. Or, bizarrely, cardboard box of death. What the hell? Either a cardboard box is bulletproof or it's not. But it certainly can be kicked along the floor if it's certainly if it's empty. That you know they shouldn't stop you. Impenetrable gaps. Now this is when you're uh, firing through railings or fences or chain link fence or or bars or you know the, the little balustrades around the side of the uh, of stairways. Now what's that? You know Operation Locker for example. The number of times you try to come down the stairs because you, you think oh I'm going to force the issue on the outside. So you go down the stairs or go up the stairs and someone comes down the stairs or up the stairs and then you start firing at them but the, the railings somehow are completely bulletproof. Even the gaps where there is air it's bulletproof. You know, the hitboxes and those things are all over the show. They need to be sorted out. It's a, it's a really bad... It's like a devil in the detail sort of thing. You should have paid attention to that, guys, and that needs to be sorted out. People who play without any kind of tactical sense at all need a slap up the side of the head. Stop bunching up in corridors. If there's two people there already, you don't need to add another 20. Don't stand in doorways. Don't lie down in thoroughfares. And for God's sakes, if you're going to go into a room, make sure you don't point the same way as the other guy. If you're waiting on an objective to be captured, don't all look the same way. It's not difficult. Controversy. Uh, suppression effect. Uh, things. Right. <sighs> I'm really having to keep a lid on my rage here. Jesus. Right. All weapons have a suppressive effect, which is that they make you blur. Not all weapons actually make your uh, opposition's bullet deviate from their path more. The only weapons that do that are LMGs. Now, that is ridiculous, because there is no way that someone should be able to take half a magazine to the gut, and whilst having half a magazine to the gut, are able to whip up and snap off a one-shot headshot, or a, ri a sniper rifle can just ping you and take you out while you're shooting them. It's ridiculous. All weapons or no weapons. That's the way it should be. And in my, in my opinion, it should be all weapons should have a bullet effect uh, to the opposition. So they should make the bullet deviate more. It, you know, there's nothing... And again, it's, it's totally silly that... Um, you know, you can be firing again. You can be firing at someone who's a support class. He's got an LMG. You're firing at him. He suddenly whips around, starts firing at you. And because he's got an LMG, your bullets start to deviate. His don't. And you get nailed. Because he can just keep firing. It just, oh, 
just things like that really do annoy me. It should be, it's particularly, I have to say, it's when people have sniper rifles, because sniper rifles, most of the, most of the people who use them have, have 100% uh, kill. So you're pretty much dead if you get shot by a sniper rifle. And they shouldn't be able to do that. No one should be able to whip round and headshot you with one shot um, because they're getting half a mag into them. It just doesn't make sense. Sort it out. Medics and support players that might as well be in the kitchen making a sandwich. My God, drop the odd medikit now and then. In fact, don't do it now and then. Don't do it all the time. Do it all the time. Pay attention to your teammates. Same as support class players. My general theory is, both playing as a support and a medic, is that you drop your boxes, and I said boxes, not boxers. You drop your boxes, like ammo kit, your medikit, you drop them every 10 or 15 seconds when you're running along. You drop them behind cover on the way up to an enemy objective or enemy held position, and you drop them when you stop for more than two or three seconds, because people will need them in those areas. There's no point dropping your medikit when there's already five other medikits on the floor. Think about where else they might need be needed. Think, oh, well, hang on it. They're all right next to the doorway. Maybe we ought to move them back a bit so people can reload or regen next to the to the thing. I, I just, oh God, just drop the bloody medikits. Yesterday, I was playing in a squad of uh, five people, two of whom were medics. I was playing support. We were running along, we got ambushed, I killed two people, the other guys were up on the top, so they didn't get hit. I killed two guys, because I'm elite like that, and, yeah, really. Uh, so, um, I, I killed these two guys, but I was down to 10% health. Both these guys then just ran past me, didn't drop medikits, and I know they had them, because they didn't have any uh, grenade launchers strapped to their back. They ran past me, they ran up to a doorway, I ran up behind them, I dropped ammo, they all started reloading. They both turned around and looked at me because I was firing at their feet and shout, you know, hitting Q to say, give me, a, uh, give me medikit. Both looked at me for at least three seconds. One then fired at me, softcore thankfully, so it didn't TK me. One fired at me and then they both ran off again. And I was temp, I mean, Jesus, just drop your goddamn medikit, you numpty. People who say easy when they win a game by either masses or not very many tickets. You're being a dickhead, stop doing it, douche. <laughs> Idiots who drive off with their vehicles completely empty. Don't do it, my God, just wait for a couple of seconds. Offer people lifts, hit Q, shout get in. It's not difficult. You know, if you if you drive off out of the base, you've got a lav, well done, you've got a lav, and you've got a big gun, well done. But you've also got five empty seats, which means it takes five times five number of people a lot longer to get on target than if you had just waited for a few seconds for them to fill it up. Same with a Venom. Same with anything that has more than one seat. Wait for people. Obviously, if there's no one around, then fine. But most of the time, there are people who need lifts or need help and want a lift and, you know, just happy to repair you or whatever. Just give it a chance. Give them... Don't... Just don't sod off with only you in the vehicle. And while we're on this point, if you take a vehicle as a personal taxi to a high spot, like a sniper spot or a little whatever, you know, to get somewhere first, you're just, oh, you're, you're the third worst human being in Battlefield. They're really, I mean, the second worst is someone who takes the thing and then it's full, the Venom, let's say, takes the Venom and bails it to get to their spot. And it, the Venom is full and so everyone else in the Venom dies. And the worst individual is someone who just bails a helicopter because it's been hit a couple of times. You know, half the time, when you bail a helicopter, you don't need to. And, and you know, it's the same with tanks. Don't bail the tank. For God's sakes, don't bail a tank. Because you're going to just give it to the enemy. They can just nick it, kill you, nick it, and off they go. Just think about it. Go down with the tank. Go down with the bloody Venom. Don't, just take the hit for the team. It's not... Oh, anyway. Again. Whew, rain it in. Rain it in. Rain it in, DC. Rain it in. Punish command. Oh. This is the most childish thing known to man. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop using it on your servers. Don't give people the option because the people who use it nine times out of 10 are the morons who get themselves TK because they just rush blindly into firing lines or they rush into a building and someone's throwing a grenade and they see the grenade, they still run in and then boom. And then they, before anyone gets a chance to go, oh, sorry mate, they hit oh, punish. It's childish. It's letting your ego get in way of the game. Just Oh my god, just stop it. It is the and here's the other thing, right? You cost your team two tickets. Not just your death, but the death of the guy you punished as well. 
Well done, you bloody idiot. Get over yourself, accept the apology, shit happens, move on. People who don't PTFO. You know, well, that's it. If you're not going to play the objective, go and make a sandwich, go and watch a movie, because you're no use to anyone. Don't sit in the one little corner and go, eh, look, I've got a 25 to 2 KD. Well, well done, but if your team loses, it doesn't matter. Get out there and start working towards the objective. Use your nows, use your brains, look what's going on, make your choices based on that. Otherwise, just you're no good to anyone. So number one, the number one annoyance is people who do not PTFO. Right. Whoo. Forward slash rant. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. I really went off on one there. I didn't realise this was going to get so heated. Anyway. Um, that's it for me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know if you disagree or agree in the comments below. Uh, send me a like if you would. That would be lovely, you gorgeous people. Otherwise, I'll see you on the battlefield. Ta-ta.